hi guys and welcome back to my channel as the title says today we are going to make a glueless wig now first of all you need an elastic band a rat tail comb a measuring tape a thread and a needle and some scissors okay so first of all um i normally make my wigs as glueless as possible so that my clients you know have to apply any type of glue to their wigs now this is a hand sewn wig and we're going to make it glueless okay now this is just straight out of the it has been styled a little bit but we're going to restyle it after everything that's in another video but yeah let's just get into it now first of all you want to measure your ear to ear and then subtract an inch or two depending on how on how tight how tight you want your elastic band to be but always take the measurements from your ear to the nape of your hair then back to the other ear so left ear nape right ear and um, subtract an inch or two depending on how comfortable you are and yeah you cut it now when you cut the how do you call it the elastic band um, you'd want to place the elastic band just look at the position where I'm placing the elastic band the same exact position if you are using this type of um, cap now you also want to make sure that the ends of the elastic bands are not frayed now you can also use um a lighter but if you don't have a lighter you can also use how do you call it matches that i'm going to show you what yes this is called matches yes a match stick you can also use a match stick to make the ends of the elastic band extra secure so that it doesn't free okay now please watch how i'm going to position the elastic band on the wake up you see so that part is going to fall right you know behind your ear okay it's going to fall right behind your ear now there are two like different sizes of um how do you call it elastic band now depending on the size of your ears that is the size depending on the size of your ear that is what is going to determine the type of elastic band you're going to use because at the end of the day you want your wig to be as comfortable as possible okay and i'm using the blanket stitch method now i have a video on how to stitch like using this method i'm going to link the video up here so that if you don't know how to use the blanket stitching method you can watch it and then you know and then sew your elastic band using that method it makes the sewing the stitches extra secured now back to the elastic band that i was saying if you have bigger ears you'd want to use a smaller elastic band and you have smaller ears where the elastic band is going to sit comfortably on your head then you'd want to use um, a bigger band or a smaller band by the end of the day your your ear size will depend will determine the type of elastic band to you so this is basically how to um attach an elastic band onto your closure works to make it look to make it glueless okay so try this and let me know how it turned out and let me know in the comment section below the type of works you guys would the type of videos sorry the type of videos you guys would want me to create and yeah this is a part two i've already uploaded a part two so kindly check out the part two i'm also going to put a link in the description box um so that you guys can watch the part two it's all about me cutting the lace installing it and you know it's just quick and easy so if you haven't watched it i also shared tips and tricks in that video so yeah i'll see you very soon in my next video bye guys and make sure to subscribe and just like the video so that other um, viewers can also see this video okay i'll see you very soon in my next video bye